In this video, I'm going to show you how to get great results cleaning wood without using any bleach. And I'm going to be testing on this little pavilion right here. All right, so the first chemical I'm gonna use is sodium metasilicate. This is kind of a cleaner, I guess you could say, like an eco-friendly cleaner. All right, so I've got a half gallon of water right here. Um, this chemical, by the way, comes in powder form. And so half gallon, I'm gonna go for about the uh, eight ounce per gallon mark. There's uh, eight ounces in a cup, got half a gallon, so I'm gonna put four ounces in here. And then that will get me to the uh, eight gallon or eight ounces per gallon mark, which is kind of like a medium strength, um, but it should definitely do the trick for this job. So then I'm just gonna take that, put it in my water, just like that. Um, scoop the rest of that in there. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and close that up and good to go. All right, so again, here is the starting point. You can see a lot of green, just overall gray weathered on the uh, floorboards. The um, pergola isn't so bad. Um, it's actually pretty new, but, you know, still make it look better. But, yeah, the main objective is getting that green off. All right, so I'm gonna start by wetting down uh, the whole surface. The reason you're doing this is so that when you actually apply that chemical, it's going to spread out evenly. You can also use a lot less chemical because it'll go further because you don't have to actually wet the entire deck. You can just kind of spray it on and then the water will kind of distribute it. Um, you don't wanna like soak the wood, but you want it wet. Um, otherwise it's gonna be a problem. But yeah, anyways, and I just basically apply it to everything um, pretty standard there with the uh, metasilicate or metasilicate. I don't even know how to say it, but um, with that chemical, you don't have to worry too much about it hitting every single spot because it's not like bleach where it'll like blotch up if you miss a spot. Um, but you definitely want to apply it to uh, all the areas you can see the best you can. Um, with the second chemical we use after this, it's a little different. You really want to make sure that it spreads out evenly because it does kind of blotch up more like a bleach. But yeah, anyway, so you let that sit for a while. I scrubbed it in on the uh, floorboards just so it would you know, work in there better. So once the chemicals sat for about 10 minutes and make sure it's wet the entire time, by the way, you can go ahead and pressure wash. Now notice I'm not using a very high pressure tip and uh, the wand is not close at all to the ground or to the wood. And that is because the chemical does most of the work. You're mainly just like, it's more like a power rinse now, a couple benefits to putting that cleaner before you pressure wash. A, you don't have to get nearly as close, so you're not going to scar up the wood and damage it. Uh, and B, you can go a lot faster because you can go way quicker um, than, you know, if you were just using pressure. But anyway, so here are the results from just that first cleaner. All right, so after the uh, sodium metasilicate, letting it sit, scrubbing it in, and then kind of power rinsing it it's pretty light pressure left with this um let me step back a little bit so uh yeah i mean honestly i could leave the job right now it's clean um looks way better but um there's one more step in this process that makes it look a lot better and that is adding auxilic acid which is gonna it, it is a kind of a cleaner in and of itself but it more so it's a brightener and so yeah, it'll just make it look better. I, I believe it'll neutralize the previous chemical. I'm not a chemist, I dropped out of college. I don't even know what that means really. But uh, yeah, so anyways, it looks better when you do it. So we're gonna add it. All right, so here's the auxilic acid I'm using. It's from Ace Hardware. Um, it says wood bleach, it's auxilic acid. I've seen the uh, SDS sheet. But um, yeah, anyways, I bought that. Uh, you know, it's a lot better to buy it in bulk, but I kind of needed it quickly so I just went to Ace Hardware got it um, I'm mixing about four ounces per gallon here so I mix that in my cup and then I go ahead and uh, put that in the pump up sprayer and yeah like I said this chemical is meant to brighten the wood so basically you clean it and then you put this on afterwards and it just kind of kind of makes it pop a little bit and uh, it like I said it also does do some cleaning on its own and so you know if you miss a spot or two 
it can help to have that second step in the process. But yeah, like I said earlier, it will be noticeable if, um, you know, you don't apply this evenly because it'll, you know, be blotchy in certain spots. So do your best to apply it evenly. Um, make sure everything is wet the entire time. And then while you let it sit, you can kind of mist it with a pressure washer. Um, and, you know, misting it will help distribute it and also keep it wet. So also after you apply it, I uh, rinse all the oxalic acid off. And then here's what it looks like. Uh, about half dry. Um, obviously, the uh, floorboards aren't dry. But yeah, as you can see, it uh, looks pretty nice. Now, the floorboards aren't perfect. Uh, they did lighten up more as they dried more. But you know, on old weathered wood, it's never going to be completely perfect, but it looks pretty darn good. Um, and it still has that like natural wood color, whereas bleach wood kind of tends to just be super, super white. But yeah, definitely a big step up from this. Um, you know, all that green's gone and the gray weathered look is pretty much gone as well. All right, just wrapped up. Um, got 240. So um, I got here at 1230. It's just about three, so about two and a half hours. Now, when I quoted this, um, it was meant to be done with a house wash. So that would have saved it like probably about 30 minutes of, you know, set up and take down and whatnot. Um, and yeah, so I would probably quote this higher if uh, I knew I would have ran out of time during that house wash and had to come back. But, you know, I, I don't, I very, very rarely will raise a quote once I've given it unless new information is given. If it's on me, like I, you know, did it overlook something or I, um, you know, ran out of time and have to come back, I'll never raise it. Um, now, if somebody comes out and they're like, hey, I want the driveway done too, that's different. They're adding a service, you know, but if I knew or at least thought I, you know, I, if I had a good idea of what to expect and I misquoted or whatever, I'll stick with it. But 240, two and a half hours, not too bad. That's all I have today. Really light day, which is good because I got to get caught up on invoices and estimates and uh, social media, all the other stuff. It's been a busy week. Um, glad to uh, glad to be at the end of it, but still a lot of work, office work left, but we got all the washing done. So 